much you sleep? Oh. Carla, I just wish you'd picked up the phone. I'd have been on the first plane back. You wouldn't be a burden. You'd never be a burden. Oh. I've messed everything up, Anna. No, he's messed everything up. Which is why you cannot drop the charges against him. Look, I know that I'm right, and you would too, if you Ed wasn't so all over the place, and that's not a criticism. Yeah, but it's one surefire way of, I don't know, getting my life back in some semblance of normality and having done with it. Carla, you cannot let him off the hook again, right? Or how many more agains are there gonna be? You didn't rape Maria. Well, no, because she got away. Good on her. But he's obviously got form, hasn't he? I mean, how many other times has he gotten away with this in the past? Or the women who, who just like you, want anything for a quiet life and he gets off scot-free. You've got the power to stop this from happening to anyone else. Some other poor cow who... Say, Michelle, I'm so sick of being the poor cow. Look, right, <clears throat> what you said about getting away, seeing your mates in L.A. They said you can go over there any time. I think you should get yourself over there and, and get yourself away from all this pressure. Away from the scene of the crime? Well, Weatherfield's got too many memories for you at the moment. And do you like L.A.? No, I don't. I love it. But, you know, it's, it's not Weatherfield. It's up here. It's every time I close my eyes. Well, then, look, right, when you get back, if you still want to drop the charges, then I will be behind you every step of the way. But I want you to clear your head first without being frightened of bumping into him on every corner. And the factory is going to be just fine in your absence. Certainly make a better go of it than you at the moment. God, you're harsh. <laughs> no, I'm just not soft-soaping you. Come on, go and do some packing. Plenty of time to sleep on the plane. That's lovely. Thanks, Dad. Could that shine? No. Come on, that's remarkably good taste for you, Kevin. Uh, I chose it. Yeah, that's spoil the illusion, why don't you? <laughs> Isn't it good? Are you going to use it today? Yeah, definitely. I love girly lesbians. Oh, right. I'm going off to work. Kevin, don't you need to open up the garage? Yeah, I guess so. But I'll be back later to help set up for the party. Oh, Mum, I'll come with you. Have oh. a look. Get a grip, Rosie. You're only going outside our front door. It's not a flyby past Buckingham Palace. Uh, you've always got to look your best. All right. Come on. Happy birthday. Um, Bye, safe. Have a good yeah. day. Thank yeah. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> I'm oh. sorry that I only got your makeup. Don't be dash on, I'm made up. Yeah, well, you will at the Bell of the Ball. And plus, we've got these. <laughs> <laughs> Chase, you can't. I'm only knocking for the mother of my son. Nothing sinister about that, is there? Can I come in? I'm just on my way back to work. Well, I'll walk with you. So what's your consultant said? I want to see you. You're seeing me now. You know what I mean. So what's next? No, I don't... Let's not talk about that. It's hard. Lloyd... No, I know. I'm sorry, but he's there all the time. I can never get away. Cheryl. I've got to go. Hi, babe. How are you? Good. Mm. What are you doing? Remember, we need the money. Oh, I feel such a hypocrite. I know, but principles don't put bread on the table. Oh, it just feels wrong. Not as wrong as being skint. Izzy and Julie, you're welcome. It's a small place, but mine own. Yes, sir. It's very pleasant, Mr. Foster. Where do you want us? Well, these are your machines. Hiya, girls. Ooh, mm, deja vu. Hey, less of the French. You can do your socialising in your lunch break. Do you hear that, Izzy? We get a lunch break. Ooh. That's dinner to you and me, love. I'm sorry I'm late, Frank. It's Sophie's birthday and... You're not just underworld now, Sally. You can't just roll up when you feel like it. 
I'm so I'm sorry, Mrs. Foster. Oh, well, that's fine then, isn't it? Welcome, you two. She's sweet as a light. Oh, She's like the mother what I never had. You look a bit stressed earlier. No, not really. I was just thinking. About what? Well, now that Underworld's shut, I might as well call Dunbar's and tell them I'll do the order. Do you want me to do it for you? Use my womanly wiles? No. Oh. I think I'm just about managing. She's been just like no, Queen of Arts or something, just ten times worse. <laughs> Thank you. What's that? Nothing. Just bills. They can wait. I've spoke to Fizz. You rang her? I'm going to go in and see Ella, discuss what she wants for the funeral. I'm sorry. What are you apologising for? We'll get through this. Once I've planned the funeral, I'll get back on the market and sort the bills out. I know family comes first. We'll be fine. I promise. Hi, <laughs> Bacon butter with ketchup. I know the way to a man's heart. And I was just thinking I was hungry. Oh, it must be psychotic. You know, as long as you don't go boiling me bunnies. Oh, I always knew you had a soft side. Where is it again? <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, I, I was just checking that you were still coming round tonight for Faye's celebratory little tea. I don't know, Anna. Oh, don't be like no, that. No, I know, but... Oh, no, you have to come. You have to. Look, my head says yes, but my heart says... I mean, it's got to be hard to pretend that there's not something going on between us, you know? It's going to be difficult not being able to touch you all evening. Mm, simmering away like a pan of minestrone. Mm, I hope I don't bubble over, eh? <laughs> I know we will tell her soon, just not tonight, eh? Mm. Hello. Yeah, she'll be down in about five minutes, mate. Cheers, fella. Carla, that's your cab. Oh, I don't know what I've got in here. I can't believe we got a flight so easily. Oh! What am I doing? You're doing just fine, love. Exactly. Getting some much-needed R&R. It's a turn the frown upside down. <laughs> right, have I got everything? Um, E-ticket on iPhone, yeah? Yes, money, get airport. Passport. Oh! <laughs> Passport! Right, I think that's everything. Is this madness? Nope, this is clearing your head. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Do we need to let anyone know you've gone? Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, no, I'll do it at the airport. I'll do it while I wait for a flight. Give you something to do, won't it? Kieran. Take care. You've got a good one there. Where? Oi! You got keys? Yes, as I did half an hour ago when you asked. Right. I'll see you on the ice, kids. Be good. Have an amazing time. Poor thing. Can't even begin to imagine what she's been through. When will she be back? <sighs> when she's cleared her head. How long does post-traumatic head clearing take these days? I don't know. Only because we're getting married on a beach in the Bahamas in two weeks' time. Yes, well, she'll be back by then, won't she? Don't worry, you'll walk me up the aisle. The beach. All right, the beach. I thought you were going to see him, Fizz. Uh, Schmeichel's off his food. It's not like him. Mm, I found him trying to get in the bedroom wardrobe before. Mm. He used to like doing that when he was a puppy. You know, nestling in with all the shoes. I was thinking, it seems a bit under the weather. Has he got an upset tummy? No, he, he was fine on his walk, but... I had to drag him out. I hope he's all right. I wish they could talk. You'd get a shock if you did. What's the matter, mate, eh? Right, Chaz, you need to go. Maybe just give him dry food for his tea tonight. Right. Maybe he's missing Fizz. Oh, he's picking up on the auras around the house. It's hardly been a laugh a minute lately, has it? <laughs> Can't afford to laugh. Right, I'm off out. I'm gonna go to the job centre, see if there's any jobs going. Right, I need to go. Wish me luck, yeah? Send her all up, yeah? So we're all thinking about her, yeah? See you. Hey! Rosie! I've got you another photo shoot. Oh, right. Money will be good. I 
to know, the Gazette gave me a real grilling yesterday. A few hundred nice ones. Well, would I be on my own with them? I can come with you. He's a good photographer. He's done Kerry Katona. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I'll bail you with the details in the morning, yeah? Kerry Katona. That, that's a good thing, right? <sighs> Always. All right, thanks, Jeff. I'll see you later, yeah? Michelle! <laughs> yeah, hey, Lily. Yeah, have you been keeping? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Listen, it's not really a social call. Um, I'm going to be running the factory for Carla for a bit, and I kind of need your help. Oh, well, yeah, I'd, I'd love to, obviously. Oh, I can feel for it. Honestly, I do. But it's just that we weren't getting paid, Michelle, and no-one can survive on thin air, you know? Yeah, I know that, I know, and that's been sorted. If we can get the Dunbar order out, then we can get some money in, and money equals wages, wages equal happy workforce. Oh, well, in that case, you don't look too happy about it. <laughs> no, it's just, um, well, we're not going to get very much done between the two of us. Well, no, I'm going to ask the others as well. Of course I am, I'm not daft. It's not that. More or less everyone else is working for Frank now. What? Even Izzy and Julie started today. I can't believe that. They've got no shame. Right. Well, I'm in charge now. And just you watch. Frank Foster might think he can walk all over Carla, but he ain't seen nothing yet. Hey, Barlow! Oh, no way. What are you doing here? I just came back to wreck your head. Oh, it's good to see you, pal. Put it and there. Do you, <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Oh, most a pity, eh? Do you want a brew? No, I'm fine. No, myself and Michelle have just popped back on the way to see our man. Oh, all right. Nice. Yeah, to see our man to tell her we're getting married. No way. In two weeks' time in the Bahamas. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, oh, mate. fair play to you. She's lovely. Thanks, buddy. Bit of a spanner in the works, though. Carl is after heading off to the States and leave Michelle in charge of the factory until she gets back. The States? Los Angeles. Why, is she, uh, she not good? Not by a long stretch of the imagination. She's even considering dropping charges against your man, Frank. All right, mate. Hi, Chris. What's your poison? Oh, I've got enough poison in my system, thanks. Just an orange juice. No, I'll get it. Oh, I'll behave yourself. It's on me. Last of the big spenders. Oh, cheers. Orange juice, please, Carl. Thunderbirds, I'll go for poker tonight. Oh, yes. Sir. What about you, Chris? You ever play? No, no. Count me out. I'll get an early night. Is it all right with you, babe? Or do you want to do something? What, and have you moan all day tomorrow about foregoing your poker night for me? I don't think so. No, a night in on my own. Gives me a good excuse to watch Dirty Dancing for the three millionth time. God, I'd rather you than me. There you go, pal. 120, sir. There you go. Yep. Early night for this bad boy. I can't stop thinking about you. I've wanted to touch you so much. You're sending me mad, Cheryl. Don't. Why was I ever so stupid as to push you away, treat you the way I did? I thought you so bad. It's in the past. Look, when are you next seeing the consultant? Because I want to go with you. I've got so many questions. Cheryl, Cheryl, that's, that's so lovely of you, but for one night tonight, I just want to forget I'm ill. Does that make sense? I won't say another word. How long you got? That makes a change for me asking you. Sorry. We best be gone by last orders. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, we won't let you down. Thanks very much, Mr Dunbar. You too. Bye. Oh, God. What? I'm going to have to get the rest of the staff back if we're going to get that order done. Dunbar's given us an extension till Monday. We're happy about it, but... I'm sorry to keep barping on about money, Michelle. Oh, Hayley, please stop going on about wages. I've got some money set aside for my wedding. I'll use that very after. Michelle, you can't do that. Well, look, if we can get this order in, I'll get it back, won't I? Let's just worry about having a workforce of more than us two mugs. Hey, your first guest. I shall go and like the barbie. <laughs> a barbecue in November? Is he mad? Uh, it's blokes, in it. It's the only thing they can cook, and he worked well. So. Well, I'm not going out there freezing my bits off. <laughs> Hi! 
Oh, hey, birthday girl. Looking hot, hot, hot. Happy birthday. Thank you. I was getting dead embarrassed on my birthday, getting spoiled. You weirdo. Oh, Sharon, look at these. Oh, it's just some footless tights and stuff, cos I know you like mine. Ah, oh, thanks, Amber. Hey, I'm loving that frock, Sharon. Mm. Have you got any vodka? Uh, what do you want with it? Uh, more vodka? Tonic. Go for it. Hey, you are officially hilarious. What? Well, have you not um, seen the Gazette? Oh, I'm in the paper today. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Kidnap made me feel sexy. Rosie, what are you like? They twist your words, Sophie. Oh, I never <gasps> knew all that about your dad's affair with Molly, though I did know you were a lesbian. What? Oh, yeah, it's all in there. No holds barred. Hey. All right, Amber. Oh, you're a dark horse. There you go. What do you mean? Well, you must have been gutted when Molly died. Hey? Dad, nothing. Am I missing something? Here? Come on, Rosie, you might as well show him. He's going to find out sooner or later. You know, I was dead set against... Well, I've done some thinking and I'll do it. I'll organise his funeral for you. Jess, that's amazing. I appreciate that that is not easy for you. It's fine, honest. I'll get there, but I'm not doing it for him. I'm doing it for you and all, all right? So, what do you want me to do? Katie's here. Hey. <laughs> You're late. Yeah, Schmeichel's been a bit under the weather. Stood up for a dog, but Ches texted and said it'd be alright to leave him. So, poor thing, what's wrong with him? I don't know, she's just a bit off his food. But I'm here now anyway. You having a good time? Yeah, thanks. And really enjoying my official adoption. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what do you want to drink, love? I'll get it. Anything's off. Yeah. Mum will get it. You don't live here, Owen. Uh, no, but it's Katie's dad. Leave him alone. Have a seat, Katie. Tell us all your news. I think she just did. How's the pregnancy going? Yeah, not bad, thanks. You right, Gary? Yeah, never better. Dad? Is Izzy coming? No, she's working late tonight, love. I'll tell you what, Frank Foster's now working them hard, you know. Is he now? Do you reckon he did it? I don't know, it's hard to say, innit? I doubt it. Pipsbeak hasn't got it in him. And how does Izzy feel working for him? Well, it's until proven guilty, isn't it? I mean, she's not happy about it, but beggars can't be choosers, eh? Right. Yeah, I suppose. Would you like some garlic bread, Casey? Um, go on, I'll get it. This chair's not coming, no? No, he's visiting Fizz in prison. Yeah, Princess. Thank you. Yeah, this sandwich is there, Katie. Help yourself. Oh, cheers. Faye's getting me some dark bread. Coming right up. <laughs> Thank you. Have you got a napkin? Uh, yeah, there's some kitchen roller. Oh, do you like that, Owen? It was three ninety nine in Debs. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Owen! You all right, mate? Dad. <laughs> Must have gone down the wrong goal. What you put in there, love? Nothing. My drink's been spiked. Hey? You're joking. No, no, sniff that. Oh. What? I can't believe this is happening. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, turn off the waterworks. Your tears don't wash with me. Dad, I'm upset. Oh, and guess how I'm feeling. But I didn't say any of those things, I swear. Rosie, oh, stop lying. None of you understand. You don't know what it's like to be interviewed by the press. It's really hard. Oh, please. So where did they get all this stuff from then, eh? What did they do? Read your mind? Hack your phone, did they? I don't know. Maybe Jeff told them. Jeff? Well, maybe they did hack my phone. Well, that's what the Jewish celebrities, isn't it? Oh, you're hardly Amy Child's love. So what did they do? Hack my phone as well? Hack hers? Because, let's be honest, none of it's untrue. It's just all embarrassing having it written down in black and white for a world to read. Well, I don't think it's a global title. Oh, shut up, Rosie. Well, the clue's in the title. Where the fuck is that? You are such a you know stupid... What? I can't believe this and I can't believe you. You make me sound like a right bimbo. You say that like it's a bad thing. I really thought you'd all know. I'm sorry. No, we didn't. And I'll tell you something else. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes when your mum gets home. Brilliant. See you that, love. Attention, please. I won't keep you two minutes. Hey, who do you want? Who's this? Oh, this is a mate of Carla's. Now, I know that Carla fired you all and I know times are hard, but I just wanted you all to know that Underworld is back open for business and I'm in charge and there's enough money to pay you all. What, what you've got enough to pay our wages? Really? 
They work here now, thank you very much. You lay another finger on me, lady, and I'll deck you. Bully boy tactics, eh? Just to make you feel at home. Just remember what this bloke's been accused of. You must really hate yourselves having to do his dirty work. Imagine how poor Carl is feeling. Do you want me to call the police? So all I want to know is, are you in? Yeah, thing is, um, Shell, how long's the job gonna last, love? Like, have you got more than one order? It's just that we've got contracts here. Just remember how good Carl has been to you all in the past. Well, she did fire us, like. Yeah, she was raped. I want her out. She helped you through your cancer, Sally. <laughs> yeah, and then fired me. Yeah, and she trained half you up. You make her sound like Mother Teresa. Right, well, from where I'm standing, you've got two choices. You can either work for a rapist, or you can come with me. Underworld's back in business. Who's coming with me? Coronation Street continues in half an hour.